Well, Bahamians abroad continuing to seek ways to return home due to the COVID-19 pandemic. While some have already landed on Bahamian soil, there are others still waiting. Anton Floyd works on a cruise ship in Bahamian waters, but is unable to get off. Charles Fisher has the story. As Bahamians are being returned home via air from abroad, the dilemma continues for Bahamians that work on various cruise ships. Still left floating. Anton Floyd was originally contracted to the Phantom of the Seas in the housekeeping department. But since COVID-19 ceased all cruises, he has been floating on the independence of the seas. Basically, almost coming up on two months, stuck on ship trying to figure out when it's not going to be. Sad part about it is uh, we are in Bahamian waters and we're so close to home, but really can't hear nothing. No information is getting passed on to us. It's like every other country around us. Everybody's going home, except for us. There's not even a mention of the Bahamas or of the Bahamian people that works on the ships. Last week, ZNS News was able to help Coralie Grand Bethel with getting back on Bahamian soil. After hearing about her story, Floyd and his family are seeking the same faith and reached out to ZNS as they too are in waters off Coco Key, Bahamas. There's three Bahamians on board, two from Nassau, one from Freeport Grandmama. It's very frustrating knowing that you're so close to home, but it's like everybody is getting sorted out except for you. That's literally kind of how it is for, really. He's not blaming anyone in particular for them still being stuck on the ship. While fellow workmates are returning home, but says there was a communication lapse. With the previous ship that I was on, I'm going to say it's my contractor ship. I kind of blame the management there on that ship. Because when the news got out of the lady who uh, got transported to Kokuki from Harmony of the Seas. I was actually transported to Independence of the Seas the day before she got transported to Kokuki. I felt like if the if the ship had went through thoroughly with whoever they had on board, they could have kept me on their ship until the next day. And I could have been right there on Harmony. I could have been, you know, getting prepared to say go home. But now I'm on a whole different ship. I'm talking to the head uh, hotel directors and HR team on a ship. And they're, they're basically, honestly, they're trying to figure out why am I on their ship? Because they don't have any plans, anything with the bombers. The plans with the ship right now, they are currently heading down to Barbados, St. Lucia. These places, these islands, I'm already in the radar of home now getting away from home and still not getting any information on when I'm I going home or when I'll, me and my, you know, fellow baby is going home. Now the ship will be back transferring passengers this coming Tuesday, May 12th, to other ships to set sail to their respective countries. Hopefully he and his fellow Bahamians will be able to disembark. For ZNS Network News, I'm Charles Fisher.